So hello everyone and welcome to this uh, video on Microsoft Excel. Uh, actually in this series, uh, I'm looking into Excel functions that we use in financial modeling. And uh, in the previous video, um, you would see that we looked at the EOMAN function. We said that we were going to look at other functions that date functions this time that we use in financial modeling. We itemize three of them, the year function, the month function, and uh, the uh, day function, and what this actually do, do. So in this video, that's exactly what we want to do. So we're going to have, um, we're going to have a role where we look at the year the the month and then the the day function and it's very easy to implement for the year you just use the year function year and it takes just one input and we take that of the last any of them you could take any of them but actually you just use uh the uh, let's use the end date here and hit our enter button so it gives us uh, the year and um, for the month you could use the month function month function what it the month function returns for you is the serial number of the month for example January is going to return for you uh, one so when we hit it that is what we get so um, we could uh, one thing you can do if you want to be a little fast in financial I mean in entering your 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 formulas is by deciding where would be the end of your your entries and then hiding all the rest so what we're going to do here is let's assume two years because that will help us see uh, some more things so we started with 2021 let's make this 2020 and then it changes and then we stop but yeah so okay this goes up too. so everything from here to the end we just want to hide it hide it so we're doing this because it has the advantage of this we could just you know control shift arrow left and then it copies it and we can do our control arrow to copy our formulas uh, right words you see that so so for example this two we're just going to control shift right arrow and then we just do control arrow and then it gives us everything here so what it does is that in financial modeling sometimes you want to detect when there is a change in year and this is where uh, your year function takes place for example there might be an escalation in inflation rate that is done annually and so we can use this to determine when we should carry out um, uh, a change uh, uh, for example what we're seeing is you see you could have this minus this here you see it's zero but you will notice that when we copy it down you find that just when it changes to another year you have one and anything you 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 you, you multiply with this one definitely it's going to give you the desired answer if it is zero then it is zero uh, you, you you wouldn't get anything from there so if I'm multiplying an inflation rate uh, by zero I get nothing so it means it stays stable but when it crosses to a new year it assumes another rate or it assumes another value and then that value can be used in our financial models so uh, uh, that's where it comes handy we need to have it there in our timing module so that we could use it just any time that we need it so that's why we have the year function for that of the month function 
the MUN function, one of the advantage that you can get from the MUN function is if you want to have uh, quarters, if you want to have things that changes by quarters, the MUN function would help you uh, to do this. Other than this, uh, the MUN function, if you just want to have a text that uh, represents the month, well, uh, and you have use for it, in that case, we wouldn't be using the MUN function. We would be using the text function. And so that's text. And take it to January and then comma, uh, quotation max. So we have MMM, that's for month, and then close, close our bracket. So here we see that it gives us the text for months. So we can copy this down and that's where we have it just in case you have uh, use for that and uh, but um, for the month function when it comes to using it to get quarters you know then your month function comes handy and uh, we would be looking at that in uh, the next video in that video we will see how we can use the month function in uh, association with some other functions to get quarters and so if there are things that you need to implement every change in quarter you'll be able to get your flags from the timeline and then you implement um, you implement that change the day function gives you the last day of the month the last day of the month so in in this case the day function is going to tell us Yes. So this date actually here is the last day of the month. So if you implement a day function, what it does, it gives you the day in that date. So in this case, if I were to move it to this function here, so it, this is first of January so that's why we have one so if you want to get the number of days in a month then you would want to use the day function but this time because we already have uh, the date uh, input here so we can just refer to that date and hit and we get the total number of days in the month so we can copy this down so we can copy this down so we can see that we can get the total number of days uh, in, um, in that month. So we'll be looking at yet other formulas and, and functions that helps us with our, our, our timing module. Um, in the next video, I want to show you how we can uh, derive quarters from the month function. So sometimes there are changes that you want to implement as the quarter changes. Uh, an example might be that maybe you run a, uh, you're trying to do a model for a fleet company and every quarter we might want to make uh, changes maybe on the tires of our vehicle and all of that. So you can model that using the month function we will derive quarters and then these quarters can be used uh, uh, to implement things in our model. Well, I hope you uh, uh, learned something from this video. And if you do, please uh, subscribe uh, so that you could uh, be informed. Uh, you could have somewhere you can always go to to see all these uh, fi Excel functions that we use in a financial model. Thank you for watching.